this guy bought an old dresser for $100 and found treasure in the bottom drawer. Yard sales are many things to many people. For some, yard sales are where treasure troves can be found. For others, on the other hand, yard sales are where people can sell their crap without an excuse. Some people. The way you look at yard sales has to do with your experience when going through people's junk. Some people are lucky bastards. They're the ones who always seem to find some bloody interesting and prestigious object to art that they can place next to their modern decor and have it look amazing. Selling crap. Others, me, fail at ever finding some interesting antique to make their home look interesting. We're the ones who end up with crap scattered through our house. Let's just admit it. We're buying nothing except a future where we have to start selling the same crap at yard sales. One lucky guy. In the case of this story, the person belongs to the lucky bastard circle. But it's more than a piece of prestigious antique that this guy's found. This guy has found actual treasure in his trove. A thing for yard sales. Emil Nodal was the lucky guy. The 67-year-old seems to have a thing for yard sales, browsing through every one in his vicinity. At least I hope that's the case, because if this guy found a chest full of treasure at his first yard sale, then I can just go and bash my head to the wall. A beautiful dresser. Yes, Nodal was browsing through crap at a yard sale. This happened in Texas, just in case you want to try your luck at yard sales. The guy was looking around when he came across a beautiful dresser. A beautiful finish. Nodal appreciated the marble top of the dresser. Moreover, the piece also had a beautiful finish. The seller of the dresser told him that this piece of furniture was almost 125 years old, at a low price of. Now, maybe the seller was tired of the old thing or it had too many bad memories. Whatever the case, the guy was given the dresser away for a low price of $100, even though the piece was more than 100 years old. Something's jingling. Nodal knew he had found himself a bargain. The guy quickly paid the seller and loaded the dresser into his truck with the help of a friend. What they noticed when they did lift the dresser was that there was a jingling noise coming from it, a secret compartment. The two were confused by the noise as they knew that all the drawers were empty, so they decided to check where the noise was coming from. What they found was a secret compartment at the bottom of the dresser. The latter was filled with diamonds, cash, jewelry, and old Civil War memorabilia. Should I keep this to myself? Nodal had found a literal treasure trove. What's even more astounding is that Nodal didn't keep the treasure to himself. God, I would look like such a bad person next to this guy. Telling the seller. Nodal contacted the seller and told him all about the find. The seller told him that the dresser had belonged to his grandparents. Grandma was one hell of a sneaky woman. Remembering family. Moreover, the seller admitted to him that he'd never known about the compartment. Yeah, as if he even had to say it. Getting this memorabilia in his hands was a great way to remember his grandparents. This guy is a saint. Now that Nodal's taken the high road, nothing can stop him. This guy has proved to be a saint. He also gave us some hope in humanity. Why is it? I, on the other hand, have a few questions to ask God. Like, why is it always the older generation who finds such treasures? I have a good 50 years ahead of me. A secret compartment filled with jewelry and cash would serve me well. Yeah, and I'm going to hell.